Dobre Vietor, viewers around the world. Welcome to the NASCAR 5 Hour Energy Cup Series, debuting for the first time in Chemins, Poland, to race at Tor Kielce. The race will be run in an oval configuration, but except we don't turn left here, we turn right. That's right, four corners of the opposite of a NASCAR standard track, and you see the concrete down there in turns one and two. Give me a second to zoom in on oh, there. There you go. You see, you are allowed to pass there, making it interesting for the competition as the day goes on. Surprises up front. Cole Custer in the 41 starts on pole for the journey to navigate the field through a challenging 10-lap event and has one of the better equipment in the field. And then his teammate, rookie Chase Briscoe, finds himself in the 7th position, setting the expectation bar high to the fans here and back at home. Towards the rear of the field, it's three of the 400 cars starting next to each other, having catch-up to do as the race goes on. And lastly, Martin Truex Jr. starts near the last row of the field. He had trouble navigating the field, but has put hours in the simulator to help him earn practice at this track. Now we will go sidetrack for the command. Cars roll the light for the first time here in Tor Kielce. Now let's take a look at your starting lineup. In row one, it's Cold Custard and Happy Harvest. Row two, it's the Outlaw, Kurt Busch, and Denny Delivers in the 11. Row three, Tyler Reddick and Monterey Mexico's Daniel Suarez. Chase Briscoe in the 14, and in the 9 is the most popular driver in the garage, Chase Elliott. Kislowski in the number 2 and McDowell in the 34. In row 6 is the iconic Wood Brothers number 21 of Matt Benedetto and the 23 of Bubba Wallace. Then we have Fast Passa, who's actually being fast for once, and the 3 of Austin Dillon. That Jones boy, Eric Jones, starting in P15 to his outside, his YRB Young Ryan Blady in the 16th position. Row 9 belongs to Joey Logano and Chris Buescher. Christopher Bell in the 20 and the 10 of Eric Almirola, the Bacon Monster. And the following row is Ricky Spithouse Jr. next to J.B. Mack. Candyman Kyle Busch in 23rd and Ty Dillon in 25th. Um, sorry, no, 24th. Brendan Poole in the 27 and the Computer Guy, William Byron in the 24th. A pair of Hendrick teammates, Kyle Larson and Alex Bowman. Row 15 is the Watermelon King, Ross Chastain, and stage winner, MTJ. And finally, row 16, Ryan Priest and Rocket Man Ryan Newman. The race will be 10 laps long. Custer is on pole. Very easy to oversteer the corners for these big stock cars, especially in turns 3 and 4. First track for the NASCAR 5 Energy Cup Series outside of the United States, and the first lap will be called in Polish, because why not for my Polish viewers watching the race about to take place in their home country? Zielona flaga Velucia! Kastar Puwadzic do Zakrat 1, o Kurbusz Jaży Głębi i Przegrywacz Trzeci Pojace do Tyler Reddick i Danny Hamlin. Wygim Samenczasi Kevin Harvick Yes Próbować Mniauć Kol Kaster. And that was a lap of Polish commenting for you. As you see bubble walls going three wide, you gotta be careful of the tires. Oh, De Benedetto in front of the 22, but we're still green. Suarez having a good run. Oh, and Kislowski is around. He's not going to save it. And the 21 just mentioned moments ago is in it as well. There's the overseer we were talking about in the previous show in turns three and four, where it is critical as you see Chase Elliott turning around to continue after being spun by the deuce. You see Brad getting loose underneath the nine and into the right quarter panel, and nowhere for Bubba Wallace, uh, excuse me, Matt DiBenedetto to go, just an innocent victim and having a horrendous season four in the NASCAR Five Hour Energy Cup Series. There's the two getting the hook, and the 21 and nine, both on pit road repairing damage and changing tires. 
Maddie D was running 12th at the time of the incident, seeking to what would be a solid top 15 or top 10 finish for that team, but unfortunately getting caught up in a getting caught up into his affiliate teammate Brad Kozlowski. Tough day for that team all season long. You see right there, nowhere to go. Trying to turn right, just not enough time. And so he will be starting at the back behind Chase Elliott, who also was in the wreck. No major damage to the 9. He will be able to continue in the 21 as well. We are restarting on lap 5, and the points are awarded to Kevin Harvick finishing first, getting that bonus playoff point. Suarez with a good finish, as you see Reddick, Briscoe, Alfredo rocketing up to the front, and Busher all needing the points they can possibly get trying to win at Torquilza. Here we go, again for another green flag run. Suarez going up the track, allowing Custard to take third, and in tow of Denny Hamlin, your new race leader over Kevin Harvick's blue number four. Ryan Priest has found something in this car right now and is the fastest car on the track. On board with Cole Custer to the inside of Hamlin, cutting some time on the track and now repeated. You can go down there and pass, but just notice of how you could lose time turning too much. And Hamlin had to let go of a position to the 38 of Alfredo, but is now getting him back. Swores around hard into the guardrail, goes Bubba Wallace. Oh, and Kurt Busch gets pounded from Logano. Larson, McDowell is in it. The 27 is parked. Immediate red flag to stop everyone at turn three as a massive crash takes place, pretty much blocking the track. Let's see what happened to trigger the wreck. Okay, so the 99 inside of the one tapping him, cutting in front of the 23 who was having a good run and just hard both of them into the wall at bad angles. And then bam, Logano coming in from behind of Bush who slammed the wall after contact from Daniel. Thought it might have looked as he has saved it, but soon enough, just at the wrong time in the wrong place. Brendan Poole getting the hooks. His first DNF of the season. Michael McDowell in the 34 in front of the 27, who, is hit from who hit Lagana from behind. Bubba Wallace getting the hook. He is done for today. Kurt Busch, the suspension is damaged, cannot continue. Logano's nose is caved in, damaged. Kind of like uh, Cole Custer and Martin Truex Jr.'s wreck at Coda, Circuit of the Americas, not too long ago. Kyle Larson getting the hook. And then track houses number 99, Daniel Suarez getting the hook. Clearing the track. The red flag has been lifted, so now we're under caution pace. We're looking at this bizarre wreck one more time. The new teams, 2311 and Trackhouse with a hard to swallow pill, having to pay the damage of their race car. Good thing everyone was able to walk away from the incident safely and without any harm being done to them. It's a good job by NASCAR improving the safety of the cars with the next gen cars coming out, all joining Brad Kozlowski in the garage. Restarting a lap 9 out of 10, and more than half of the drivers in the top 10 currently are trying to seek their first win here in Poland. So let's see if they can do it with two laps remaining. Two more times around the opposite of a standard NASCAR track. Custer getting the launch off of two, three wide behind him. It's Chase Briscoe taking advantage, diving to the inside of the track with a number 11 behind him. White flag is in the air and Custer is away and off from the next car back. This flyby here mostly are drivers you don't normally see up front. Oh man, they are having a good point stay here. Cole Custer wins at Torque Yeltsin for his first career win in the NASCAR 5 Era Energy Cup Series. Yes, sir. Number 41 wins with a great burnout show for the fans who were able to come here today. Another winner to add to the list. It's ya boy with a vibe here with a win today at Tor Kielce. Congratulations. His highest, before his highest finish was third. Now that changed to, changes today with a first place finish here. Now let's take a look at your race results. 
Three of the four Stuart Haas cars finished. One, two, three. A great day for Stuart Haas racing as you see Ryan Priest coming home in fourth. A really good day for the 37 team. Tyler Reddick, Anthony Alfredo in seventh. Busher, all surprises here today, shaking up the point standings that we'll get to soon. Byron from the back finishing in the top 10. Bowman as well. Truex, solid day for those guys. And the next page we have is the rest of the field with cars that have potential or had potential to win, such as Suarez and Kurt Busch being caught up in a bad wreck to end their day. Chase Elliott is still in first due to his two wins at Daytona and Watkins Glen. Hamlin takes over the second spot from Truex. Logano gets knocked out of the top four from Bowman. Custer now locked in, sitting in seventh. You see Suarez still holding that tenth spot in points. A good job of where he is, even he was wrecked out of the race, but earned nine points from the halfway bonus. Eric Jones peeking into the playoff picture, and... And yeah, some work to do for Bowman, Reddick, Almirola, and Alfredo to be locked into the playoffs for the next race. Bubba Wallace gets knocked down to 22nd. Priest and Busher up by three spots. And poor Matty D in 31st, even after what would be his best finish of the season, 19th. Thank you guys for watching an exciting race in Torque Yeltsa. However, the NASCAR 5 Energy Cup Series will take a break for summer and return back to the United States to the famous North Wilkesboro Speedway in August. But until then, this is Hendrik Fane 24-7, signing off.